Beto, a huge welcome to Everton. How does it feel to get this move completed? It feels good. It feels good. The only word that I can, that I can say is finally. <laughs> uh, what was it about Everton that made you want to come here? I was always was uh, appreciate the the club Everton. Always have players that I liked. So for me to move here was an easy move. We've seen the the video of you training in in an Everton shirt as well from a number of years ago. What was it that first caught your eye about Everton? Yeah, because my idol played here, so it was easy to choose to come here. And tell us about your idol. Samuel Eto'o yeah. is my idol, and I like Lukaku too, so it was easy to choose to uh, come to Everton. The club has had an interest in you for a long time as well. How much of a factor did that play in your decision? One, one thing was certain, when, uh, because when a club like Everton tried to buy you in January, after it came in, they came again in the summer, uh, you feel like, OK, they want me for real. So that, one, that thing made the made, made move easy for me. Tell us about your main strengths as well. What do you think you can bring to this Everton team? I can bring uh, courage, I can bring uh, confidence. Uh, effort. I think my number one skill is effort and uh, I can bring uh, enthusiasm to the game. Effort is, is something that the fans demand, the manager demands. Do you feel like your style is a really good fit for Everton? In my opinion, yes. In my opinion, it will fit really good. The manager has spoken about us being more clinical in front of goal this season. How much of a challenge do you see that as? And how much are you looking forward to getting started now? I'm looking forward to getting started right today. <laughs> uh, I know that uh, the team needs to score goals. I will try. I love to score goals, but I know it's difficult. I know that uh, the team needs goals and I will, I'm here to help if I can. I will try my best to score goals. And Everton's had a long and successful history of, of big strikers being the focal points of teams. How much does that mean to you to be, to be part of that history now and hopefully write your own chapter in, in Everton's history? It feels, feels really good. Uh, a lot of big strikers are, uh, play, uh, have played here uh, and we have also big strikers in the team right now. So it feels really good to be here. I, I want to make my mark. So let's do it. There's, there's lots of excitement about you being here amongst the fan base. Evertonians are, are delighted that you're here. How much does that mean to you and how much are you looking forward to playing in front of them? That means a lot because I didn't even make a, a session with the team and everybody texts me and say, Beto, come to Everton. Everton is a great club. Come, come, join us, come to score. And for me, that feels really, really good. And uh, I just want to contribute with goals and uh, good uh, uh, appearances. You're only 25 years old as well, so you're still relatively young. Play, perhaps coming into your prime now. Do you feel like you can you can still get better? Yeah, of course. I feel I'm. I know I didn't arrive to my prime yet, so I hope the Everton can help me to arrive there. And you mentioned it before, but you've already scored this season in the Coppa Italia. Do you feel ready to go right now? Yeah, I feel ready to go. I feel fit. I just want, like I said before, I just want to train today and start playing. That's all my ambition. I'm sure you've had conversations with the manager, Sean Dyche, and director of football, Kevin Thelwell. How did those discussions go in terms of where they see you fitting in here? No, the coach and the director just told me that I need to enjoy. I, it's a different championship, different teammates. I need to adapt, but uh, easy on my time and uh, enjoy. I know you work very closely with Gerard de la Feo at your previous club as well. Did you have a chat with him before coming here? Yeah, yeah I spoke with him the day before I travel. He told me that, that Everton is a big club, crazy fans, they, lo they love you, they love all the players and uh, it's a really good, uh, good club to play. And you touched on it before as well, but Sammy Leto, your all-time hero, was obviously a player here as well for a short time. Does that make this move 
a little extra special for you? Yeah, really special. <laughs> Great stuff. Um, I believe another one of your heroes is Eusebio, the, the Portugal legend. Obviously, he, he played at Goodison Park in the World Cup in 1966. Obviously, a, a very historic stadium in England, Goodison Park. How much are you looking forward to playing at Goodison? Words can express uh, the, the feeling I'm feeling right now if I play in the Goodison Park because it was a stadium when I was in high school. As I always wanted to play there because of the the city, the the derby, and everything. The fans, the I think the fans in Everton are a little bit a step up than the other fans. So I'm excited to to play. In terms of a project, then it was something that really appealed to you. The club, the historical club. For me, Everton is a big, big club in, in the Premier League, well respected, have a big history, so it was easy to make this, this move.